key motivator for this study is to try to understand what the effects of new recreational development are in coastal Maine. We know that tourism is important for coastal Maine, and we have an excellent case study here. There's been a new campground put in on the Skudik Point section of Acadia National Park, and so we set out to ask the question, what has been the impact on ecosystem services? Now, those are the benefits that ecosystems give to human beings, the value of natural habitats, the value of biodiversity, carbon storage, that kind of thing, but it's also the value of tourism. So we're hoping um, with the way we've been collecting data to be able to assess the value of ecosystem services now versus before the campground was put in. So for some ecosystem services, those are the benefits provided to humans, we would expect that there would be an increase in value because of the campground, like recreation and tourism. This site is now more accessible to people and so it's generating more value for tourism opportunities. But by the same token, there are some other ecosystem services like carbon storage where we would expect there to be a loss of value for that service. And so what we're doing is trying to figure out how that balance is shaking out um, now that the campground has been put in place. The faculty were the co-PIs on this grant, but the heavy lifting has all been done by two undergraduate technicians, Joe Cicero and Allie East, and um, they spent all summer down here at Scudic collecting uh, a wide range of data that would intimidate most people. We're doing some research here about participation. Would you be willing to fill out a quick survey about your trip here? Sure. Awesome. Joe headed up the birds, so most days he would start off by doing that, and then we would rendezvous later on. Some days we were giving out surveys uh, at a couple different locations to visitors to kind of gauge where they were coming from. Some days we were doing vegetation surveys to look at biodiversity. We've started interviewing local stakeholders to kind of get the more economic side of it as well. It's the first year of the project, so there's a lot of you know, a learning curve involved for everybody. And, and I think we did a very good job of you know, uh, figuring out as we go and you know, adapting with the with the project. So we have economics, we have uh, qualitative social science like sociology and anthropology, we have ecology, we have forestry, all coming together in our coastal environment right here. That's an incredible amount of work for anybody to do and the fact that we've been able to give the opportunity to our students to be down here on Scudic Point all summer and learn all those different kinds of methods and data collection methods is really unique and special. And I think it's a testament to the fact that the University of Maine values uh, holistic and interdisciplinary uh, work for its students and giving its undergraduate students research opportunities um, to go out there and do on the ground real work that's important to the state of Maine. One of the Big things that has come out of this summer for me has been learning that with research, it kind of takes an army to get a single result. Um, so where we're bringing together so much between the economics and tourism and biodiversity and birds, no one can be an expert in all of that and you have to outsource to get things done. You need a wealth of information and you need to be able to rely on other people and surround yourself with a good team. This research definitely is very useful for you know, the community up there in Scudic, but also it can be applied to other places where development and new campgrounds are being in place and you, know, you can really look at how things can change and uh, how they can benefit the the ecosystem and the tourism in the area. People, when they're faced with how do we manage lands, how do we make decisions that you know, optimize the value, they want to incorporate ecological values, but they know that economic values are important. In many cases, there are win-wins. It's not a simple jobs versus the environment question. We're hoping to provide information to help them to strategically develop the infrastructure to both maximize benefit for the local economy and local residents, but also make the most out of this ecosystem while maintaining biodiversity and all of the other services that ecosystems provide to humans.